Hi, my name is Toby, and in 2019, I inherited an abandoned 248,000 square metre farm in the northwest corner of Tenerife, inside the Tenor National Park. I'm now clearing 50,000 square metres of overgrowth, restoring a 100-year-old farm building, rediscovering 200,000 square metres of virgin forest, and setting up the location for a self-sustainable lifestyle center where parents can send their teenagers to discover how their grandparents lived 100 years ago in a modern, eco-friendly, off-grid homestead while they star in their own YouTube reality TV show. Here they will find out about solar and wind energy, discover how water is sourced naturally, how to domesticate farm animals, plant, grow and harvest crops, and also enjoy outside pursuits such as hiking, climbing, mountain biking, nature watching and stargazing. And all this in one of the best climates of the world. Follow our journey from the very start as we begin and develop this adventure. A massive project to bring useful purpose to this abandoned land become an active part of our dream to bring a sustainable lifestyle to this place of outstanding natural beauty. We are the Buena Vista Rural Club. Old ways, new paths. So the question is, where does one begin? Here. In this room, there are plants everywhere. They all need to be taken out. There's bits of wood, wooden beams that have collapsed. Flat roof needs to be taken off completely. The wall needs to be rebuilt. First of all, all the vegetation needs to be taken out of here. The rocks piled up so they can be used again in the construction of the wall. Measurements need to be taken of the room. Approximately one, two, I'd say three meters, probably by four and a half. One, two, three, yeah, four meters, I would say. Three by four meters. And that wall needs to be shored up. Roof needs to be re-roofed. Then in here, that window needs to be done. Plaster needs to be taken off the wall. The roof needs to be taken off eventually and replaced. In this room, the roof needs to be taken off, needs to be replaced and Walls need to be repaired, particularly over here. The floor needs to be screeded. The patio is a special project, as we know, um, and it will be done slowly but surely. And this room needs to be emptied, all the vegetation taken out. We need to decide what to do with the vegetation. One of the things that we could do with the vegetation is put it into this garden here. That wall needs to be re rebuilt uh, nicely. I think that could be very well made out of stone, but that needs to be demolished first. And then foundations need to be laid for it. So a proper wall can be built in there and the gates can be put back on the back if indeed that's what we decide to do. Or extend the wall all the way over to here so we have half the water tank in our possession and put a tap on the other side for them. That's possible. There's some nice uh, old beams here to be used and the kitchen well, the kitchen needs to be re-roofed. That's a quite a quick job, I would suggest. We done quick, fairly quickly, but there is a pearl in here in the middle, which is interesting. Um, here, this needs to be dug out. 
and that needs to be done there with the gutter edge but i did put in a, a metal beam there so we can do something you know not our rebar this gap needs to be filled and particularly from the other side um, and we need to finish the roof line all the way around all the way around particularly the, this gutter side needs to be decided what to do with it then here on this wall it needs to be remade with small stones and brought right up to the top so that we get a, a nice finish here and then this wall needs to be remade and it needs to be taken right up to the top A very important project in any homestead or off-grid has to be the toilet. And um, here in the Buena Vista Rural Club, we don't have a toilet. We have plans for one, but we don't actually have a toilet. But our next door neighbors that we've often been to visit, they do, they have a toilet in here. Now, I've given it a little bit of a clean up in here. We have seen this toilet in previous videos and I will show you a clip of how it used to look like in here. But I've had a quick clean up to make it uh, a little better. You can see that once upon a time here there used to be a shower and down here there used to be a hand basin and a tap rather like this one and here is the toilet not in the greatest of states i've got to say but what i have done is i have removed the piece of broken pipe which used to be here that's the uh, piece of broken pipe that used to be here that's been removed, exposing the two ends of the toilet. And now when I look down here, I can see that that's blocked completely with uh, dirt and roots and all sorts in there. Don't know whether you can see that. You see, not what we would expect from a modern day toilet in Europe. But of course, we're not in Europe. We're in the Canary Islands, Tenerife. 150 miles off the coast of West Africa and uh, the Sahara Desert. And really, a lot of the things here, especially in this farm, it is the land that time forgot. So having looked down the uh, pipe here, uh, it looks like the pipe is actually um, split down there and it's full of roots. So I'm afraid, that I've had to go and get the uh, tools out and I'm gonna have to dig that out, I think, and have a little good look at it and see whether it can be rescued or whether it's a lost cause. So this is the tube that exits from the toilet. Then there's a U-bend that comes and brings it down to this pipe. But as I've uncovered this pipe, which had a U-tube like that on it, Coming up, we can see that one was broken. But unfortunately, down here, the pipe is completely given way. So I've been at it for a while now, and you can see that the, the drain has had a massive collapse from the top. Something's gone over the top of it, like a big lorry or something, and it's completely collapsed. So I guess the only real thing to do is to try and find where it goes to, where it stops being collapsed or abandoned completely. And but anyway, for today, I'm gonna to stop where I am. Meanwhile, Samuel is in here, cleaning up the floor. And you can already start to see that the floor is a beautiful old, stone cobbled floor here in the barn a 
and all the bags are being kept over here so that we have a top quality uh, soil because this has been fertilized by animals for hundreds of years well 400 years at least So, here in the barn, Samuel and I have been busy taking the uh, dirt off the top. Now, here in the barn, what used to happen is there's a step, and that's where the humans used to walk. And down here, where the animals were kept, they would uh, do their business on the floor, and the floor would fill up, obviously, and have a space here to fill in until it was time to clear it out. Or not, as the case may be. And here, there's been years and years of animal dung left on the floor, which is what we're now sweeping up and putting in these bags. And the reason why we're putting in the bags, of course, is that this is fantastic grade A fertilizer which we'll be using to grow vegetables at some point in the future. And so now we've run out of bags. That's about uh, 30 or 40 bags there. And so the rubbish is collected on the side. We've discovered a big trench along the side here. Must have been where the waste was washed out the door. And we've run out of bags, so we're piling it in the corner. And we'll put it in bags another day. But the floor looks excellent. Get a bit of a clean up. And obviously with a tidier type of, um, what's it called, painting. And we'll point it all at some point. So as we leave for the evening, we've discovered a, the fact that there is a channel here and the water comes out the side at the back here, it used to come out underneath the, the door. There's the channel. And this beautiful stone floor that was underneath it, underneath all the cow shed, has been revealed. As we look down the room now, it's a completely different view. So a fantastic day day's work and I've got to say that Samuel's done a fantastic job here to clear all that out and there it all is in bags ready to go on the allotment good job Samuel good job good job <laughs> meanwhile I did a quick test on whitewashing the wall in the electric room. Well, I've come up to the farm here at the Buena Vista Rural Club today, Saturday on my own. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Northwest Tenerife. And I've been working at the plumbing. Yesterday on Friday, I was digging out the sewer pipe Today, I've continued that across the road up to 
the clubhouse and I've got a little way to go. You can see here we dug a, a very deep hole to try and find the end of that pipe but couldn't find it. So I started from the other end and you can see the pipe is in appalling condition. No wonder the toilets don't work and haven't worked for some time by the looks of it. Anyway, I'll show you a little bit more in a little while. What we're about to do here is use the submersible pump, electric of course, to take water from here and pump it into that toilet that we're working on here. I mean large quantities of water at high pressure so as to clear whatever's blocking that toilet. Here it comes, the big flush, and out come the rats' nests. Job done, toilet unblocked. A load of rats' nests. You know, hoy, day. Venga. Ahora con la pala, abre eso como un canal para abajo. Slope. From here to there. La piedra sí va ahí.
Okay, so now we're just going to prove, again, with a bucket of water, that the line is clear. El agua hizo todo el trabajo que hay que hacer. Solamente sacar las piedras a mano aquí, las grandes, sacarlas para allá, ¿ok? Vete sacándola. Así con las manos. ¿Vale? Okay. Mira, el, el pedazo de cemento ese también. Este, este aquí en la boca. Ya lo saco. Buena. Pablo, hombre, el otro día te vi que iba con Pris. Coño, ya, ya la agitaste. ¿Ya lo encontraste o qué? Eh, esto no va a ningún sitio. Va para allá. Eso, eso para lo sabía, yo creo que no va a ningún sitio. Bueno, eh, Samuel, Pablo, con Pablo. Eh. Hace maneras es una cosa para estar poca gente aquí. Esto es una, una forzada. Porque por aquí viven camiones, entonces. Aquí voy a poner lo único por la, poco cemento, ¿no? la, re, la reforzada aquí ¿eh? y esto aguanta. No, no, lo tienes que poner cemento. Sí, también. Un poquito de cemento y entonces ya el agua. Esto lo aguanta. Entonces, esto lo vamos a poner aquí hoy. Lo voy a dejar un poco para extenderlo un poquito más Bien. afuera y vendrá por aquí. Se quite todo esto para para ver por dónde iba, pero iba aquí mismito. Hello, what's up? Good morning. I'm up here on the roof of the workshop. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be waterproofing along this edge here. So 
that water hole there, that spout. And we're going to be doing that with a substance called marmolina. It's a white powder, like this. It gets mixed up, goes very hard. And I'm going to be making a sort of uh, triangle there. A bit like what Jose did over here, but a bit bigger. We can also see that the hot weather has begun to crack the, uh, the cement that Jose did. And um, that needs attention because otherwise we'll have cracks everywhere. So let's get on with it. So here we have it. The marmolina has been put in here. Marmolina will dry very hard and waterproof. And the idea is that the water will now no longer sit along the wall. It may need some more. I don't know, I'll have to see when it dries. But I've also moved the solar panel so that we can uh, put cement down, what they call a lechada, a milky cement on the top there to uh, seal it out. And then this will be ready for painting with the epoxy paint. So when we paint this, we paint it onto a um, onto a, a cloth. So this should be the final piece of the waterproofing. After this. The roof should be waterproof. We'll have a look at that uh, somewhere over there, where we've put the marmolina today. Marmolina, I don't know what it is in English. Um, it's like a sand, and it dries very, very hard. And that should waterproof it. And then this will have a coat of this waterproof paint over it once it's completely dry. Obviously not today. Perfect day for painting. We've got cloud cover, no sun, not much wind, although there is a bit. So today what we're having to do is replace the marmolina with cement, because the marmolina has been a spectacular failure. So that's what I'm going to be doing now.
diff difficult aspect of doing these YouTube videos is trying to operate the camera with gloves on and do the cleaning up and clearing up and everything all at the same time. Closer